It's really great to see you out here pre-season training and a different one from you. When was the last time that you didn't do a pre-season as a player? I think barring injuries when I first started playing, when I left school. That was my first one obviously when I was uh, joining Rochdale straight out of school and then I must have done 20 obviously in the 22 years. Um, but it's a different one, it's very different for me. Obviously planning, um, evaluating, making sure they're getting the right uh, details and obviously marrying up with the with the other staff of what, what they need to do, where their levels need to be at. Um, so it's interesting, it's different, it's full on. Um, obviously the, the the aches and the pains that the, the players will be feeling, I'm not quite getting that much but even still serving, you know, because I just come down here and start kicking balls rather than have a warm-up, which I've always done uh, throughout my career, you always warm up, you stretch and you know, I've just gone straight into it but you know, so not to myself, just maybe have a little bit of a warm up. But other than that, it's, it's gone really well so far. The lads have been great, really good spirits. Um, it's brilliant for young Luke and mm. uh, Ellis Litherland as well to experience their first pre-season with the pros. Mm. Um, you know, and they're realising now what it, what it takes to, to be at the top. Mm. So you officially hung the, the gloves up at the end of last season to become a full-time goalkeeping coach. Was that the right time? And I'm sure you look back with your playing career with great pride. Yeah, I think... Um, I always wanted to get to 40, that was my goal and alright I was 39 turning 40 let's say but um, yeah I, I can look back and I mean I'm not ashamed to admit I've probably overachieved in my career it's just through you know giving myself a pat on the back probably just hard work I was listening I listened well and I put into practice what I was told and you know I never ever thought I'd have done what I've done in my career and I look back and I, I feel really you know proud of it and, and grateful because there's, lot, there's many a keeper He's probably been better than me, probably hasn't had a, such a successful career. Um, but yeah, I take great pride in it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy with what I've done um, and, I, and I can't look back with any regrets. Now you've played in the Premier League, you've been a full international for a lad who started out at Rochdale, that's not bad. Yeah, lad, a local lad from Rochdale, you know, born and bred in Rochdale. Well, I've lived in Oldham, which is probably just as bad, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, like I say, I look, me and my brother play football in the street with the lads on the street and you know, everyone did that back then. So I think the chances of making it in my era were less because we didn't have any other distractions mm. like the modern day mm. player has. Mm. Um, you know, and I was the one who, who fortunately made it through just sheer grit and determination. So, um, yeah, you know, like the, the lads still speak to me when I'm in the pub and they ask me questions and, you know, they, they think it's it, it's all singing and all dancing, but I, I, I tell them there's certain pitfalls and things in the industry that they don't know about. But uh, but yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm immensely proud of what I've done in my career. And rightly so. You finished as a player at Bolton. I know you played a little bit last season, but mainly sort of the season before. So you finished on a high with a promotion. And again, that's a nice thing. Yeah, I mean, it was unexpected. So that was probably made it even nicer. You know, I wasn't coming here to play in this year. When I joined, I was always going to be back up. And that, that went on into the second year as well. You know, it was, it was I, I helped. I did my job and we got, we achieved what we wanted to. Um, and then obviously I had a, a, a knee wash out at the, start, at the end of that season, so that put me back towards the start of uh, last season. Um, but again, it was always to be a backup, it was always to be if I, if I was needed. Um, and I think we got to the point where, you know, even I was saying to the gaff, you know, uh, you know we need to go and get some, some keepers who can get us again where we want to be. I'm not always going to be the answer. I was always going to finish. It was always my intention to finish and, and take up this role full time. Coaching been in your mind for a while, is something you wanted to do? Then, you know, yeah, yeah, always, always. I think when you've been in football as long as I have and you don't know anything else, it'd be pretty difficult to uh, to go and retrain and do something else. And, you know, I'm, I can't go and retire for the rest of my life. It's, you know, it's not been one of them careers. But, yeah, um, yeah. yeah I think when you've done and listened and worked with top managers and top players and you, and you know what the industry is about, and it's all I've ever known. Like I think it was natural just to fall into the coaching. You know, I, I did my coaching badges with the manager quite a few years ago. My outfield ones. I'm undertaking my A license now in my, my goalkeeping. So hopefully get that passed around September, October time, and I'm, you know, kind of officially qualified for the role. Ideal place to start there because it's a good club, and B because you know the staff so well, and, and, and obviously you get on well at working and, and personally. Yeah, I think my character. I've always been. You know, I've always got on with everyone in. in in uh, any club that I've been at. Um, obviously I've played with a manager, I worked with Pete Averton at Wigan, he mm. was a caretaker there for a spell um, and obviously everyone else I've just got to know. Um, mm. So 
yeah like i say it, it's kind of i've kind of fell into it quite easily um thankful of the opportunity and like you say the club it, it's just um it's just a no-brainer really i mean it could have carried on playing probably you mm -hmm. know i'd have had to leave and maybe play league one uh, sorry league two uh, conference but then after a year i find myself in the same position and, it, and it's just not worth having another year just mm. to say you're a player anymore um, mm. and it was just a natural progression. Mm. And an exciting time for Bolton Wonders it feels that way doesn't it you know, to, to be involved at this level? Yeah I mean obviously we we were, we were finished the season strong mm. last year it's a shame we couldn't have sneaked in them playoffs um, but this year we, we obviously are, are aiming for promotion there's no, no two ways about that um, playoffs minimum you know hopefully we don't have to again we go straight up um, but it's going to be a tough year, mm. the, the, the league's getting tougher, the players are getting better, they're getting fitter, they're getting younger. Um, and, we, and we know, we know there's challenges along the way, but we think we're geared up, we've got a, a strong squad, mm. we've got good uh, staff in place, and it is exciting times for the football club. Mm. In terms of goalkeepers you're working with, James Trafford isn't with us this week because he's been playing 21s, but we know he's coming back, which is great, and you've got the youngsters and Joel with you here this week, you've got a good crew? Yeah, I mean, Trust managed to wangle another week off, I don't know how he's done that, I think City might have put the foot down there, but uh, he'll be getting it when he gets back, don't worry about that. But like I say, I mean, Joel's, Joel's great to work with anyway, he's, such a, he's, a, he's a great character, he's a great lad. Um, and, and Luke and, uh, and Ellis, I mean, Luke's a second year pro now, Ellis a first year pro, they've managed to get on the trip because Traff's not here. Uh, we need the numbers, but I think they, they've had their eyes opened mm. a little bit, you know, mm. Ellis hasn't got the comfort of the, the youth team anymore, now, now he's a pro, he's with the with the big boys and he, he's realising quickly that you know there's a certain attitude, a certain element of professionalism that he has to undertake early. Mm. Uh, same with Luke, to be mm. honest, you know last year he was a first year so he was experiencing back at Lost, uh, Lost Stock but now you're away, you know you've got the climate, mm. it's, it's, it's red autumn days and, mm. and they're really... And it's hard work, I've seen them in the gym, you know, yeah, yeah. Doing three, four sessions yeah. a day sometimes, yeah. it, it's hard for them yeah. but it's all part of the learning. Yep. And just lastly on James then, Chaff, we should call him, yep. uh, big part last season, second half of the season, everybody wanted him back, he got on really well with the fans, I know you as a goalkeeper will, will rate him highly, that's a big signing for us this summer. Yeah, it's a big signing, I think we can get a full season out of him, uh, playing like he did last year, yeah. and hopefully he can improve under me and, and, and the staff that are here, then he's, he's a great addition, you know, mm -hmm. he, 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 you know, the fans took to him, we took to him, um, apart from this week off he's had, but like I say, he'll be getting, he'll be getting a bit of grief and a bit of a... Uh, bit of a doing over when he comes back but he's, he's a great character as well he's a bit of a throwback actually reminds yeah. me he's a bit like yourself bit isn't he yeah. yeah you know like back in the day when you was a bit jovial he's a bit of a daft lad if yeah. i say that in the nicest yeah, possible, possible way possible about both way. of you which is good <laughs> yeah. which is really good especially yeah. being a keeper so yeah yeah, yeah we're, we're looking forward to having him back and it, it makes it easier that he's already been here last year and he can yeah. just carry on hopefully from where he left off brilliant just lastly then Jello, a slightly different role but looking forward to a new season as much as ever the juice is flowing as much as ever like i say i mean what would i be doing now if I weren't here it, within a football environment, you know, I'd probably be packing my bags because my missus had enough of me. She'd be <laughs> kicking me out. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. We, we every start of the season, you're all full of positivity and you want it to go a certain way. And obviously, we're putting everything in place to make it go that way.